What are sulfhedral disulfide interchange reactions? This reaction occurs in dough when flour is added with water and is kneaded. We achieve dough which is viscoelastic in nature. Viscoelastic means it the substance has both viscosity and elasticity. Because of different types of reactions, the substance uh, become viscoelastic. These reactions may be hydrogen bonding. The chains, the protein chains, uh, form the hydrogen bonds. They can also form the hydrophobic interactions, and there may also be sulfhydryl disulfide interchange reactions between the different protein chains. Actually, in wheat flour, there is a gluten protein which is further divided into two groups, glidins and glutenins. In glidins, we have cysteine, sulfur-containing amino acids present in it, and they are disulfide in the form of disulfide. They, have, they are already just like occupied by uh, disulfide linkages but they are buried inside the chain and they don't even expose while needing so glidins uh, the portion of the gluten they are not responsible for the sulfur disulfide interchange reaction because they are sulfur disulfide bonds they are buried inside and they don't participate further in this reaction so these sulfur disulfide interchange reactions are wholly and solely related to the gluten gluten protein also contains the cysteine sulfur containing amino acid residues and here also we have disulfide bonds present but we have fortunately we also have uh, free acid groups. When we need uh, the flour with the water, oxidation occurs and due to which this bond gets broke, this bond gets uh, broke down and this sulfur forms new bond with this free acid group which causes the extension of the polymer uh, chain and due to which there is extensive polymerization which leads to the elastic, elastic nature of the dough. This was all about the sulfur disulfide interchange reaction which occurs in dough when dough is needed. Thank you.